been interested in art since um, I was a little girl. And uh, all through school, through high school, I took uh, different art courses. And then I went on to um, college in Brampton, Ontario, took an illustration arts program. And then, uh, and then I've just pursued my art on the side. But it's, um, yeah, it's my passion. Learning how to um, draw and taking those drawing skills and putting it into a, a, a different uh, technique, whether it be watercolor or oil painting or pencil drawing or um, collage, mixed media. Uh, but it does, it does take skill and it takes a lot of practice. Wildlife is one of the things that I love to paint, but I also like to paint lots of different things. I like to paint people. I like to paint still life. Uh, it's what whatever really kind of expires, inspires me at the time. Um, it could be landscape, uh, places that I've traveled. One of the things that you'll find in, in any artist studio is, is a large collection of books. Um, uh, uh, reading materials on all different kinds of artists and different techniques and here's sort of an example of of all the books that I've collected just on on technique portrait painting um, color and light painting animals so again really good resource material I spent two months two months traveling through uh, Europe and while I was there in every major city that I visited I went to a museum. Um, I got to see a lot of the master's paintings and I saw the Mona Lisa and yeah, I, a lot. Um, this is just a, a list of some of the places that I've, I visited. There's the Louvre in Paris, which most people are very familiar with. Uh, I've been to the Met in New York. I've been to the National Gallery in London, uh, the Rick Museum in Amsterdam. One of the important things to an artist is the different tools that they use. And as you can see, I have a, a lot of different paint brushes. I have oil paint. I have uh, a mixing medium. And these are all the things, paper towels, turpentine. These are all the things that I need to use while I'm creating a painting. I prefer to use lots of different colors. So you can see um, on my palette, I have all my colors laid out and I lay them out specifically in terms of, um, uh, you know, all the yellows and oranges and reds together, the greens and blues, and then the blacks. Um, uh, and, then, and then I just start to paint and you can see uh, uh, that these colors are all reflected in this in this painting so you see a lot of a lot of color you know greens and yellows and blues and purples and then in terms of the brushes uh, especially when you're painting a large painting you'll need different size brushes so you'll use um, big brushes to cover large areas when you're blocking in big shapes you'll use um, uh, you know, smaller brushes for uh, more detailed work. And then some brushes you use are so small for the very finest of detail. I belong to the Fort Langley Artist Group and we meet monthly and over the summer we open a, a small gallery in the historic train station in Fort Langley and um, you know, we have people that come through and see our paintings and, uh, and it's a great opportunity to interact with um, the community and, and, you know, talk to people about the work that they see and answer some of the questions they might have. Uh, one of the activities that we do is we um, ask people to vote on their favorite painting in the gallery and uh, kids really enjoy doing that and what it does is it helps them to sort of take a longer look uh, and focus on the work that they're seeing and um, this is a, a painting that I just submitted 
in the last uh, show that was called Poultry Affair. And um, uh, my, this painting was uh, chosen as um, first choice. So yeah, it's just fun. It's, it's uh, another interesting way to sort of explore uh, new things by uh, choosing a theme and, and painting something to it. It's really about, um, you know, persevering and, and uh, learning the skills. And uh, uh, there's been this long-standing myth that, you know, people have often said to me, it's like, oh, I could never be an artist. Um, but that is so far from the truth. Anyone who has the passion can be an artist. The area that's probably most um, interesting to me is nature. Um, I love to spend a lot of time in the forest. I love to hike and um, so my intention is to develop a series of paintings that will capture um, the forest in, in a in my own sort of interpretation. And th this is just an example of, of, of a painting that, I've, that I'm in the process of doing uh, that was taken in a swamp area. Um, but I love um, all the colors of the, of the forest. I love the colors in the, in, in the water. And uh, yeah, so that's my long-term goal is to, is to develop a personal style um, that has to do with nature.